Welcome back. The Commissioner of NRI Affairs has found out that only 5 out of 30 recruiting agents in the state are valid. They have found out that these agents charge more than 20,000 rupees for those seeking jobs abroad, which is against the immigration rules. The police have started verifying whether such agents are operating within the rules or not. The NRI Commissioner has decided to crack down on unscrupulous recruiting agents operating in the state. Kaide Pirmani. Recruiting agent than B Sazar Oir, Poisha Gyopak Zaina, B Sazar Oir, Nandale Panchicharis, Disanje Pore Pagar Pore Satemunjai, Taja Oir Gyopak Zaina, put B Sazar Hui, Kitlesha Kazi Amchi Furiata, Ki Lak, Dare Lak Rupia Poregata, a recruiting agent. Kai recruiting agent. Sogamun Mubak Zaina, Kupsha Boreata, put Kain Poretsukon, Flata, Ki Poisha Gata Hub, Nokri Zamunda, Kain Body Nokri Diopna, and Dusre Body Nokri Dita, Tarki Pore Lan Nokriza. But Sangrati promised the job is not being given. Ki Amchi police atom poly raid solita atta, solta raid police. Porupak, a recruiting agents are they operating as per the law or not? Kaimon. The department, in collaboration with the Ministry of Overseas Indian Affairs, has also decided to assist Goan workers in distress. Kai Amchi Lok, Ki Kam Kurta, Chorkurun Galfant, and Trasan Porta, and Tanjalagin Poishena. Kidi Apranje Pore Kidi Porati Opak, Tankami Airfare, Ditle, Accommodation, Goros Polya in the Embassy, and Osle Soloti Amin Tayar Pore Kelia. The Commissioner has also appealed to NRIs to register themselves as voters for the forthcoming Assembly elections. They can register themselves with the district collector. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi. Goa has now become a center for art with buyers taking keen interest thereby encouraging painters. Children nowadays too decide to take up art as a profession at a very young age. This is evident from the art exhibition currently underway at Kala Academy. The Pied Piper Art Academy held its first exhibition come sale of drawings, paintings and photographs. The artworks that are displayed are all created by the students of the academy. The exhibition was inaugurated by world-renowned fashion designer Wendell Rodericks. The exhibition is open for two days at Kala Academy Art Gallery. I am uh, very touched. I think I wish I had the opportunity to have the same for myself at a young age because um, I was always good at art but uh, unfortunately nobody uh, cared to nurture it. So I am extremely happy that Wilson D'Souza has taken this step to uh, to go ahead and do this with, uh, I mean I'm saying the word children but actually it's a child in all of us. There are many people who are adults who are done, doing this program and I see a great wealth of potential in many of them. What do you think about uh, art in Goa? Do you think it's booming. It's booming, yeah. It's a nice thing. Not, not only for commercial, uh, very creative works are coming out. I mean, it's a nice center now. Go is a nice center. Buyers also know they come. Uh, buying, of course, encourages the painter that they know that okay, this is good. Bureau report, Prudent Media. Heavy rainfall on Tuesday disrupted life of people in Kozhuve. Due to this rainfall, trees were uprooted, blocking roads in the area. Electricity poles were also damaged. There was no electricity in the area for long hours. On Tuesday, heavy showers struck the state, creating inconvenience to the people. Sudden rainfall was witnessed at many places in the state. Korjuve was affected the most. Huge trees were uprooted. These trees blocked the road for smooth vehicular traffic. Electricity poles were also damaged. There was no electric current for a long time in the area. This has affected the people and especially the students as examinations are on. काल इतले वादळ वारे आमच्या कोर्जियानच बघत आयला अलदोणन पुरेन काय जागना पण कोर्जियात इतलो जोर इतला लागला की पाच छे सो पडेन आम्याचे खांदे पडलात आणि काल सान लाईट नाही आईस पुरेन शक्यता दिसा नाही येतली काही लाईट इलेक्ट्रिक डिपार्टमेंटला कॉन्टॅक्ट केला इलेक्ट्रिक डिपार्टमेंटाचे ते या ठिक त्या ठिक हा म्हणून ते पॉइंटर पाहू ना कारण लाईटरीची झाड पडतात ती इलेक्ट्रिक डिपार्टमेंटचे मनी पुढे असल्याचे आम्ही ती कटिंग करीना त्या सांग त्याचा करंट चालू असता Fire personnel in Mapsa rushed for rescue operations and are working to clear the roads. A reporter in Kojuve, Shamsundar Fatte. 
Tourism department has said that government will decide fate of six to seven houses at Baga situated in the government acquired land. GTDC along with tourism department and MLA Agnel Fernandez inspected the site and houses on Wednesday. MLA Agnel has said that legal aspects will be taken into consideration and the problem of Baga locals will be sorted out. Earlier, affected locals had met Kalangut MLA with their plight. There are around six to seven ancestral houses at Baga in the land acquired by the tourism department. Baga locals are afraid about the future of their houses. They have been conveying their worry to the concerning authorities, but except their MLA, no one is paying any heed to their concern. So I acquired Kelili uh, last 40 years, and I'm young sir, Garanasu, so sad Garan Lanji. And I mean, those are the other people who are in the U.S. who are in the problem solved. But as a result, they solve problems. We have to go to Amchigara, Amchem business, Amosurutasa. We have to go to Amchipot. We have to go to Agnella. 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 आने हम इस बात हम का जिम्मेदार सोचते हैं। अतः हम का इश्यूरेंस दिलाने की थे हम जो घर जो प्रॉब्लम सोल्व करते हैं आने हम जिस बात की थे हाफ हुई थी हम का लिटे ले आने यहाँ हम जो प्रॉब्लम थे सोल्व करते हैं। एमएलए आगनेल फर्नांडिस सेड दैट दे आर ट्राइंग टू सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बागा लोकल्स। now we have come for inspection and uh, we will do the legal formalities and see what can be done. Swapnil Naik assured that government will decide on this long pending issue soon. The decision is to be taken, will have to be taken by the government. But this is just an inspection to find out uh, what is the situation here at the request of the local MLA and uh, board. A reporter from Baga, Sham Sundar Fatti. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.